Hi, lovely youth signs. Welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the week of September the 26th, right through till the 2nd of October. Now, if this resonates with you, fine, that would be wonderful. Please push like, subscribe and notify. If it doesn't, doesn't matter, watch another lovely reader. So I've already done all the shuffling and asking to save time on the video. And then I've got, though, um, advice and oracle messages here for Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. So let's get on with it. First, let's start with a message from our lovely Louise Hayes. So if you've ever got any issues or problems, her book, um, You Can Heal Your Life, is amazing. She uses affirmations that to help you change your life. So we're starting off with, I am healthy and filled with energy. I am healthy and filled with energy. I feel the bounce in my step. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see my shining eyes. The radiant me is right here. I claim it now. So let's start the week with that. And it does really work. Her affirmations are amazing and they really do heal your life. Okay, let's get on with it. So the tarot card rating. You guys start off the week with the king of wands. So I feel that you're taking control of your life. You're the one, you're the boss. You're feeling more energetic. You're feeling in control. You're doing things your way. Now, if that's not you, there's somebody around you like that. And it's somebody that you work for. But for most of you, I think it's you taking control of your life. And it's to do with relationships and your home and family. You've got everything organized. You've got everything balanced now. That's the clarifier. This brings, this is like a double 11 card. This is going to bring you that happiness because you've got the balance there you're feeling happy it gives you the freedom to do what you want but also what fell out is that some of you still worry that you haven't got enough and it could be and I haven't got enough money haven't got enough food or I'm not good enough I'm not good enough for a happy relationship it's a feeling of lack change it immediately fives are about change um communication freedom so it's up to you. You've got a couple of fives in your um, reading um, this week, this coming week. So change uh, fives are about change. So change the way you look at things. You've got that freedom. You've got the energy there. You've got the happy relationship. You can change the way you feel about things. So do your affirmation. I am good enough for my job. People love my work. I always have enough money. Money always flows easily to me. So you get the idea. You can write it on little post-its, put it around your room, put them on the mirror and remind yourself. Keep saying it. And then you can change that belief system. Because then you go on to the justice card. So some of you may have contracts. You may have um, legal papers to sign because you're moving or you've started a new job or something like that. But for the rest of you, it's you've been seeking the truth and you've been getting information possibly from a lawyer. You're being able to get the balance back in your life because you've been searching for the truth. You are able to look at things logically. You've kept your emotions out of it. But something is coming your way that you deserve you have, this is overcoming the seven of swords. The seven of swords is a clarifier. So some of you have been lied to in the past, cheated, stabbed in the back, things stolen from you, things like that. And you may have had that sort of stress you've been carrying in your mind for seven weeks, seven days, seven months, seven years, something like that. But see how she's holding her information close to her chest. So for some of you, you may need to do that. But this is also now, because you've learned from all that horrible stuff that happened to you, you can now look at things differently. You can weigh up your options. Sevens are all about learning. So what you're learning, you hold close, you're holding close to your chest, but it's a lovely card. From that knowledge, you're now, look, you're full of growth. Oh, getting the shivers again. I've got my lovely angels and guides helping with the reading. So you have got growth coming to you now by um, some of your secrets, uh, don't tell everybody, and uh, but move forward. So this is about, for some of you, you're changing jobs or you're moving house. That's why you've got the justice papers here to sign. For the rest of you, look at things in a different way. You've learned, you're learning something and it's being able to enable you to see the truth and see more clearly because here you are, Here's that learning, Knight of Swords, some information's coming in. And because it's on feathers, I always say, look out for your signs and symbols that your angels and ancestors are trying to show you. For some of you, it can be in New Zealand, peewaka wakas, which are lovely little birds that 
tweet messages to you that represent the spirit world. It can be flowers, it could be butterflies, it can be feathers. And often they're in a stupid place, you know, like you might be walking in, in amongst concrete buildings and suddenly there's a lovely butterfly and you know that your guides or your ancestors are with you and guiding you. So you've got information coming through that's going to help you learn the truth. See, she's standing there like, like that, cutting through the crap. I can see clearly now that's what that's representing because that leads on to a new beginning. Woohoo! the Ace of Wands. So some of you are starting a new job or moving house or buying a house, something like that. But you're definitely learning. Look, whatever you've been learning is now, it's a new phase in your life. Look, you might go and buy yourself a lovely green spotted dress. Isn't that beautiful? You're planting seeds. You're starting something new and it's going to give you all of this growth. Look at the beautiful flower. So whatever you're learning is definitely going to help you. This is in the Wands. So that's more about action, something physical that you're doing. And then you're starting to think five of wands. Um, what's my next move now that I've got this new beginning? I'm plotting my next move. So other cards, it can be conflict. You've gone through some conflict um, and conflict resolution. But this card's lovely. You're learning from those things. Again, the learning there. You're learning from these things and you're working out what's my next move. Your next move is coming in Knight of Pentacles. Lovely earth card coming in very slowly the seeds that you're planting the things that you're doing are going to give you the growth that you want but things are not going to move as fast as what you want and I think for some of you the clarifier is the eight of cups so whatever you've been trying to work on is taking longer than what you think now eights are karmic to me uh, what goes around comes around but the eight of cups if you can let go of old emotions that are holding you back leave them where they belong in the past this will help you look at the beautiful butterflies you've got the dragonflies there that's faith hope and transformation so as soon as you let go of that past and move on from it and leave it where it belongs your life and everything about you is going to start transforming so they're giving you hope and telling you your life will transform if you don't live in the past or cling on to things from the past. That can be what your fives are about too when you're holding on to issues from the past that you haven't learned to let go. The seven of swords is about that, leaving those things that, that you've learned in the past as well. And covering that whole week, you've got family. So you're reminiscing about family. Six is about balance. You're wanting balance in your family life. And you're thinking about family and getting that balance. You might be just looking back and reminiscing to happier times when you were a child or when you felt safer and more secure. You have got the death card. I love this card because this represents, again, transformation, hope. Your life is completely changing. Look at the beautiful flowers. This is growth. So your life is changing. You're transforming into a new phase. Your life is going to be quite different from how it's been. Because you've been floating around in a bit of a fug. Um, things have been a bit dark. Your emotions have been going like that. You've been going through something that's been tiring you and wearing you out. You've been looking up to the sky, to the stars, to the universe, your guides and angels for guidance. It's coming through. And now you're feeling a lot more clearer. Six, uh, Two sixes, you're on the right path, that means. You're getting the balance back in your life. You're coming out of that dark phase now into the light seeing clearly where you want to be based, like where you want to anchor yourself, what you want to do, where you want to be based. Because the only other card here that's next to it, though, is you've chained yourself down, you've locked yourself away. You've got the Four of Pentacles, and this card here represents, look at all the padlocks on the um, fence. So you've chained yourself to um, your money or your home because you feel so safe and secure, you're too scared to go out. That can be those sevens, you see, they bring about fear because things have happened to you in the past and it stops you from moving forward. So this reading is about leaving the past where it belongs. You're going to be able to move forward. You're going to be able to let your guard down, even though you've got your money and, and uh, you're weighing up your money. You've got, a, you've got enough money. You've got it all under control and you've got it balanced. Now's the time to step out and start moving forward into the next phase of your life. Okay, Virgo. So this week we're using angels, gods and goddesses from our lovely Tony Carmine Salerno. And he channels the words and the drawings. So you've got um, Virgo, 
God is of oneness. God is of oneness. Lovely. Beautiful. I love his art. And his messages. Look at that, Virgo. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you this very moment. Isn't that lovely? Remember that love is not restricted by time or space and you are forever connected spiritually to those you love and care for. Okay, I know this message is aimed for a dear friend of mine. This is definitely a message for you, so I hope you watch this. It is understandable that you may be saddened because you are physically apart from someone you dearly love. Alternatively, you may be saddened by a loved one's recent passing from the earth plane. Through this card, they are making their presence felt. They have not left you. Oh, they're around me now. They have not left you and will never leave you. They are forever with you in spirit. The bonds of love can never be broken. Feel and acknowledge their presence, for they are with you in spirit right now. Okay, Virgo, I hope that helps you feel better. And we've also got now a message from the lovely um, spirit cards from Belinda Patton, another lovely Kiwi, beautiful artist. Step back. Or you've got the dragonfly. This situation will resolve itself if you take a big step back. Sometimes we see more clearly when we're not in the eye of the storm. So this will be some other issue that you're dealing with. Okay? And dragonflies are about faith, hope and transformation. So by stepping back, letting things unfold, you can't control everything. Just step back. Don't get um, tied up in other people's issues. And you've got friends from the Divine Direction messages today. Spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Okay, Virgo. And now we go on to Capricorn. Oh, goddess of nature. What a beautiful picture. Goddess of nature. Got a lot of goddesses today. <clears throat> Look at that. Actually, this came out before because I love the colours. So someone else has got this as well. Okay, Capricorn, you reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. This is a time to reap the rewards and benefits that are derived from the seeds of a project, a venture or idea that you planted some time ago. It has not, it has not been all plain sailing and many a time you've doubted whether your many efforts and labour would ever be rewarded. Yet harvest time has come, a time when you reap what you have sown. Accept all the blessings about to come your way, Capricorn, and realize that they are the result of the love, courage, dedication, and commitment you have shown in the recent past. Give thanks to Mother Nature and enjoy. Wow, isn't that beautiful? And your message is, oh, magical connection. You are about to make a magical connection with someone new. This person will open doors for you and will help you to fulfill your life's mission here on earth. And look at that beautiful, beautiful art. Isn't that gorgeous? Belinda Patton, a New Zealand artist. Lovely Capricorn and home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. So that will resonate with some of you. And finally, Taurus, <clears throat> all goddess of communication. Yes, it seems to be all goddesses um, for you guys. No angel messages today. Uh, oh, sorry, goddess of compassion, that is, for Taurus. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. The goddess of compassion has shown up in your reading today to ask you to be more compassionate towards yourself, Taurus. At the core of every living thing, only love exists. Your personality and the role you play in this life is only transitory and ultimately an illusion. All that you perceive to be good or bad are necessary aspects of who you are. Positive and negative qualities exist in everyone and in everything. A more accurate description of positive and negative is yin and yang. For in reality, there's neither positive nor negative, only opposite qualities which together make us whole. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth and keeping you in the illusion that you need to improve in order to be worthy of success, happiness and fulfillment. Have compassion love and accept all of who you are as you are and stop striving for something that's impossible to attain 
through love, your life magically transforms. Okay, Taurus. And you've got luxuriate. Ooh. Rest and rejuvenate. Give yourself the gift of free time for yourself and do something that you would love to do. You deserve it, Taurus. Okay? Go and get that massage. Go to a health retreat. Go and do something yummy. Go to the pictures and eat chocolate. <laughs> Korea. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. Woohoo. Okay, lovelies, I appreciate every one of you and I really love that you've pushed like, subscribe and notify you returning viewers. I hope you have the most amazing week and blessings to you all. I appreciate you all. See you all again. See you in October. Ka kiri anō. Bye.